Hi, in this video I will show you how to debug content within the AS Web Authentication session. I often run into the tricky situation that the web content executes critical code before I'm able to manually attach the Safari Web Inspector. Um, so this is here now an example where I run the AS Web Authentication session. I try to quickly attach the Safari Web Inspector and I can see already something going on in the console but I probably have not seen everything. Uh, I maybe have missed some critical steps. So um, how can this be fixed? And I came up with the following idea. Um, I created an extension on AS Web Authentication Session and this extension calls method whistling. A method whistling, I am exchanging the implementation of the initializer of the AS Web Authentication Session and this alternative implementation is calling and loading a different URL within the AS Web Authentication Session. The original URL gets encoded and gets passed as a query parameter. So once the website is loaded, I have all the time in the world to attach the Safari Web Inspector and then I can manually trigger the navigation to the original URL through a button in the presented website. So let me show you this. Now we can see here without changing the URL because the code is still here the same but now a different web page gets loaded. I have now all the time in the world to attach the Safari Web Inspector. I can make sure that uh, preserve log is set and, uh, and other important configurations. And now I can uh, redirect to the original URL. Now I see everything in the console right from the start when the page was loaded. Um, and can do my debugging. So I hope you find this little trick useful and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Thanks!